Hey, welcome back guys. Happy sunshine. Um, I wanted to mention that Heather has a jurisdiction hearing at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, so that's interesting that she gets into Knoxville just the day before uh, a court appearance. Like, no time to prepare. But anyways, uh, jurisdiction hearing. You know, this is an interesting word, jurisdiction. And it has a few different meanings within the legal system. And so I just wanted to read over just a little bit and kind of give you an idea of what I think is going on tomorrow. Um, I'm not saying that that is what's going on because uh, there's really not a lot of whole, not a lot of clear information on jurisdiction hearings. There references really talk about CPS and uh, family law, which really isn't the case uh, in Heather Ann Tucci and Randy's case. So jurisdiction in general is the power to exercise authority over persons and things within a territory. In its legal use, jurisdiction means the power of a court to hear and decide or issue a decree. Jurisdiction can also relate to a geographical area which a political authority is recognized. What I think tomorrow is likely about is the court is going to make some kind of a, a statement of findings about whether or not this court has the jurisdiction, has the power to hear and decide on this particular case. And there's some interesting differences here. Most cases are heard in state courts. Uh, federal courts have jurisdictions in nine different types of cases. That's interesting. So I want to I want to read off what these uh, what these lists are here. Cases arising under the U.S. Constitution, that is, cases which have a constitutional issue at their base. Uh, cases arising under federal laws and treaties made by the United States. Ambassadors and public ministers. Disputes between two or more states. And look at this. Look at this, guys. Admiralty law. Admiralty law and then bankruptcy cases. Cases involving the IRS and federal taxes are also heard by the U.S. Tax Court, while cases involving state taxes are heard by state tax courts. So, isn't it interesting that the federal jurisdiction, the federal courts where Heather Ann Tucci and Randy Bean have their hearing, one of their jurisdictions is admiralty law. I mean, that's where, that's where all of the UCC laws come from, which is the basis for our legal justice system. At least that's the, that's, that's the idea that I have. And so, wow. Admiralty law, that's, that's pretty amazing. So I know that there, on the warrant, there were uh, some federal laws that were cited as uh, violations. And we can see here on uh, Randy Bean's warrant, uh, we've got several, Title 18, USC 1343, 1344, and we've got 1956 and 1957. And we can see over here on Heather's case, or Heather's warrant, uh, it's just uh, Title 18 USC 1956 and 57. So just the, the conspiracy aspects. So Randy's facing more charges. So the warrants mention federal laws. And... I just happened to notice this here. 
So I, I'm kind of interested if there's going to be any verbiage in the transcripts from tomorrow uh, that cite the court's jurisdiction into one of these categories here. I don't know if the documents will have that, but I'm keenly interested. So that's just a quick update. Like I say, it was hard to find information on jurisdictional hearing. Uh, I've got one idea of what that might mean from my experiences of being a law enforcement officer, but I got to tell you, I, it's a little bit murky to try to say what tomorrow is going to be. I just have to say, I don't know if you guys, if there's somebody out there in the know that can uh, paint a more articulate picture than that, please send me some love, light, and links to lunacy at protonmail.com. L-U-N-A-S-E-E. -E. So we're holding a good vibration. We got positive light, and we're focusing on a positive outcome for the highest and best purposes of all. I love you guys. See you on the next one.